Have you ever had a moment where you sit down and you try and do something productive? You try and revise, you try and read that book, you try and do a bit more exercise, you try to focus, but then after five, ten minutes, you can't. You just can't wait to finish what it is you're doing. You can't wait to go and do that other super stimulating thing that you want to do. Every time you try to revise, you can't wait to go on your phone and distract yourself. Do you have trouble focusing? Is this something that you can completely relate to? If so, stick to the end, because I have some secrets after being on self-improvement for nearly two years that I can reveal to you, which can help you cure your ability to not be focused. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. See, I've learned a lot from being on self-improvement for, you know, nearly two years now. I've learned a lot on my journey. And I've learned a lot from this scientist who has his own podcast and is known as the Huberman Lab. Andrew Huberman, an absolute genius. He has literally all the science like behind why you feel unfocused, how to feel more focused, why you have low dopamine, all this sciencey stuff. He is super, super intelligent, so I really recommend going and giving him a watch because he explains the science behind things. I, however, am going to dumb it down and teach you the bro science behind things because my brain is not able to comprehend that smart stuff. Now, the first thing I've done that has helped me become way more focused, especially when I'm trying to do a certain task, when I'm trying to revise, is caffeine. Caffeine has been proven to be a stimulant and in small doses has been proven to increase the production of cortisol and adrenaline, which in turn can help you stimulate your brain and become more focused. Now, bear in mind, I said small doses. Small doses of caffeine can help you feel focused and refreshed and can be very beneficial. However, most of us, when we have coffee, when we have caffeine, we don't drink small amounts. We drink very big amounts in lattes or macchiatos or lattes or whatever it is like it's usually all this extra stuff that's got a lot of sugar in and sugar doesn't help us helps us for a short brief of time but after our sugar rush we have a sugar crash and then we feel worse so when you have caffeine when you have coffee have black black coffee just coffee and hot water that is very very simple and it's just caffeine so you are genuinely just drinking for the caffeine and wait for the coffee to cool down and then down the coffee so it's the caffeine is in your system. You're drinking coffee for the caffeine. And make sure after you've had coffee, you go straight to do the work you want to do. Because your mind will be stimulated, it will be active, you'll have more cortisol, more adrenaline in your body, it's going to want to do something. It's going to want to focus on something. So why waste it? Go do something that you've been putting off. That thing you've been putting off, go do it. After you've downed coffee, your brain will want to do it. It will want to sit down and focus. Now, there's something I want to clear up. And this is a bit sciencey talk, so <laughs> try and pay a close attention, uh, which is obviously what I've learned from the Huberman lab. Epinthrine and adrenaline aren't responsible for increasing our focus, making us to be able to concentrate more. What it does is that it makes us more alert, way more alert and allows us to maintain our energy. And it's the same thing with dopamine. Dopamine in itself isn't the thing that gives us happiness. Dopamine actually helps us maintain our focus and our attention, our, our attention seeking. Dopamine is what regulates that. So what is it that makes us happy? You see, it's actually the hormone known as oxytocin. That's the joy giving hormone. So if dopamine, yes, it makes us happy, but Dopamine in itself isn't actually the happy hormone, it's oxytocin, and dopamine makes us more focused, then how can we increase our dopamine? You see, coffee increases, in increases, coffee increases our adrenaline, which adrenaline makes us more alert, more aware, it maintains our energy better, then we want, but we want to focus, we want to get to the focusing bit. So we need to increase our dopamine, the regulator for focus. So how do we do that? Now, a couple things I have learned that I have managed to do that has managed to make us more able to focus, to sit down for hours upon hours with no issue and focus the whole time. 
in a flow state, in the zone. Now the first one is meditation. When you meditate, it has been literally proven that it changes your brain's structural activity. To allow yourself to become way more relaxed, can help you reduce stress, anxiety, even depression, can make you feel more happy, and meditation has been proven to increase your baseline level of dopamine. And that's what we want. We want dopamine because that allows us to focus. So, meditation improves our memory, improves our focus, it improves our dopamine levels. So meditate, when you wake up, you know, 10 minutes in the morning or right before you're about to do some work that you need to be focused for, that you need to have full cognitive function, something that you need to actually spend time doing, probably that thing you've been putting off, that thing you need to actually focus, meditate for five minutes before you do it. Now, other things you can do throughout your day that will help boost your dopamine over time is sleep better and a protein-rich diet. Now, a protein-rich diet just means getting more protein into your system. You can do this from either protein smoothies, which is what I have. I have it for the gym, but it does help me with my dopamine levels. And I also have a lot of eggs. I have a lot of chicken, so I can get as much dopamine into my system as protein. So I can get as much protein into my system as possible. And then sleep. Sleep is very, very important, and your body recovers a lot of energy whilst you're asleep, including your baseline level of, of dopamine which will allow you to focus. So it's important that you get the right amount of sleep so you don't oversleep, so where you're groggy and tired, but you also don't undersleep, so you're unenergetic and unfocused. And that's it. Drinking caffeine so you can be more alert, so you can actually get into a flow state, increasing our dopamine so we can actually focus more since dopamine is the regulator for our focus and attention span. And the way to do that, meditation, a protein-rich diet, and just simply sleeping better. All of these habits will help you become more focused when you are doing things. And meditating right before that thing you wanna do will help you become very, very focused and actually concentrate a lot better. But the only reason why this sounds so simple that like, oh, if it's this simple, why why doesn't like, why isn't everyone doing it? Because no one is. 90% of adults have a poor sleep. Less than 20% of the population actually meditates. And most people's diets aren't healthy and it's very processed foods. And yet we wonder why our focus, our attention span, our concentration is shit. As little as these habits, they're enough to help you. They're enough to make a change. They're enough to help you become more focused. Hopefully this helped you out. I hope things are good and, you know, I, I hope everything's alright. And if you like me and you want more content from me and you want to support me, in the next few weeks, I will be creating a community on the website known as School. Now on here, you can literally ask for personal ideas, personal videos on personal experiences that I've had, which I can help you avoid making the same mistakes that I did. And there will be other people on there, a full-on community, other people who can help you. So if you want more content from me, keep an eye out for that because I will be creating that within the next few weeks. I haven't done it yet, it's kind of in the process, so for now I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner here, because this video could help you out. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is, oh yeah, self-improvement kiss,